Hey guys, it's me Dave from the Kodo back with another tutorial for you. Uh, a little bit more with the applied energistics. I'm going to show you how to connect two uh, ME systems wirelessly without having to run a wire all the way underground and connect it to. As you can see, this one in my tutorial world is set up right here. And it does have has some stuff in it. Uh, if we go over here, this one that I was using for uh, snapshots uh, does not have anything in it. I'm going to show you how to connect these two. So the first thing you're going to want to start to work on right in the beginning is uh, if you make an ME condenser. And let's just look at the recipe for that real quick. The ME condenser is extremely cheap to make. So the Flux dust is uh, just nether quartz dust, certus quartz dust, and then redstone. You get two of them. But what you're going to want to do is you want to make one of these guys, and you want to hook it up to your system. This is extreme end game because uh, the amount that you need to use to make uh, this guy right here, the Singularity, is massive. But what you're going to want to do, as soon as you start getting a quarry going and you get the condens condenser up and running, you're going to want to make a storage cluster. Plop him right there. He's going to go right in that spot. Uh, and I used a storage... Uh, a storage cell right there to move stuff into them but basically uh, you, you can destroy items you can make the matter balls or you can make the singularities which is what we're gonna want to do and as you can see this takes 256,000 items per singularity uh, the best way of doing that is filling up a storage uh, condenser or a storage cell with your cobble or dirt and then dumping it into this into this condenser once you have uh, done that and moved in here, you're going to get what is called a singularity. And that's this guy right here. It's the only way you can make it is dumping uh, items into this. You can pipe them in there. You just have to kind of change this around. But you're going to end up making this singularity. And the singularity is going to be important in making uh, this guy, the quantum entangled singularity. So this is all extremely different, uh, but just trust me on this one. You're going to want to make the singularity first before you make anything else. So, uh, once you have made the singularity, you're going to get want to get some enderpearl dust. And the enderpearl dust you want to get is made from a pulverizer. Uh, and then some tiny TNT, which is, or you can use regular TNT if you want. But what you're going to do is you're going to take the singularity, you're going to throw it on the ground. You're going to throw one enderpearl dust next to it. And then either your tiny TNT, which does little damage, or just a regular TNT is fine. Even a creeper explosion will do this. And you're going to want to make a little bit of an explosion here. And as you can see, that changed. So when I pick this up, you'll see that now I have quantum entangled singularities. So that is the first step you're going to want to. You're going to want to try and get that done before you try and connect your two, your two uh, ME networks. The next step is making the actual multi-block structure that's going to connect these two. The quantum field ring and the quantum link chamber are the two things that you're going to need. Let me go to the recipes for these real quick. The quantum field ring, uh, you're going to need uh, four of these. Yeah, you're going to need... Nope, you're going to need one, two, three, four, five. You're going to need eight. So you're going to want to make eight of these quantum field rings. You can see I have one of these set up in the background over here, but I'm not going to use that one. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive. Like I said, this is end game. You want to make uh, eight of these per ME system that you want to set up. So you're going to need 16 if you're connecting two systems. So I'm going to need eight for this one and eight for that one. Next is uh, one link chamber. A little bit cheaper to make. Uh, the quartz glass, that's just this. And you get four of them. But you're going to need two link chambers and 16 quantum field rings for every two entangled um, singularities. So that's... Let me show you right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to create this multi-block structure which looks like this. So you're going to make... a uh, Three on the top, two with the blank spot in the middle, three on the bottom with the quantum field rings. And then you're going to take the quantum field 
quantum link chamber, which looks like glass, you're going to plop them in the middle and you'll see that this multi-block structure is created. You're going to make one of these for every uh, system that you want to link together. So now, important to know that this does not draw power from this guy. So you will have to you will have to power it separately. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put a tesseract right there. It will need its own its own power. Next, you're going to take one of your quantum entangled singularities and you're going to plop them right in there. Okay, and you can see something's happening there. Now, once you've created one of those, you're going to come over to your other network, <laughs> which I have over here, and you're going to do the same thing. Boop. Multi-block structure is created. I'm going to right-click on there. I'm going to put the singularity guy in there, and let me pop these out. I'm going to give this guy his own power source. Like I said, this will not draw from the ME system. You have to give it its own power source. There we go. So now these are connected. If I check here, nope, still nothing here. So let's grab some cable. Oops, I'm typing in there. So after you've grabbed the cable <clears throat> and you've connected it to the system, uh, a little side note, what I had done is I'd put a, an energy tesseract right there. It's not going to draw power from that guy. Uh, what you'll want to do is energy tesseract into a uh, redstone energy cell, and then it'll give it power. And you'll know that it has power because these will light up. So you've given it power, and it's connected by, via this wire. And as you can see, uh, it's not connected into this guy right there, but everything has power here now, uh, and that guy's all blue as well. If I click here, you can see that I have access to that other system from way over here. I come over here, and you can see the same items there. So if I put this chunk loader in here, and I go back over here, Say this is another world or another area of the main world. I can see, oh, I can pull my chunk loader out. Okay, good. So now these ME systems are connected, and I didn't have to run a wire all the way underground or wherever to connect the two of them. Uh, you just have to build this guy, who's a little bit more endgame, but uh, very, very useful. Uh, like I said, remember to use an energy, redstone energy cell, and not the direct... Um, Tesseract, and this multi-block structure needs its own power source separate from here. So this one has its power source right here, but it does need uh, this one needs its own because it will not draw power from there, even though it is connected. And as you can see over here, I have the same setup. Let me get rid of this tesseract. Boom, uh, energy cell right there, and it is connected into the system. So uh, basically, he's like, hey, you can access this, and vice versa. This can be used between worlds. It can be used between uh, large, large areas. The thing you have to remember, see there's a chunk loader right there, and there's a chunk loader in the back over there. Both systems need to be chunk loaded. So if I'm in this world over here, but that one's not chunk loaded, I'm never going to be able to reach that system, and vice versa. So make sure that you chunk load both systems. Uh, this was just a, a quick tutorial on this quantum, quantum field ring right there and how to connect these two systems wirelessly for M for applied energistics uh, it, guys if this was helpful to you give me give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments it was helpful to you it's, it helps me uh, know that the stuff I'm making is useful to you and it helps other people find my tutorials uh, if you're not subscribed check out check out some of my other videos uh, I make tutorials for feed the beast uh, on the regular and uh, post them on the reddit uh, but I am Dave from the Kodo and like always, good luck and have fun.